check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Hello guys, this is Shaq from Shaq's Hacks and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to review the One Car Stereo, a device that can upgrade your car stereo if you can't remove the existing one or if you simply want to have an extra one for the sat nav. So this one attaches to the dashboard or to the windscreen. So let me just show you the bracket. As you can see this is the bracket here and it attaches to either the windscreen or the dashboard. It's got a suction cup and you can just adjust the angle with this knob here and you can also extend it back and forth with this one and you can rotate it in any angle you want. You can turn it, adjust it that way, that way. So the bracket is quite flexible and it's well built so it's durable. You can also easily remove it, so I'm just going to show you here. That's how you remove it. The back has got this mount, nice and easy. As you can see the speakers are showing in there. On the left side of the unit, we've got the audio out, that's if you want to extend your sound quality because the built-in ones they're only just useful really for sat nav but for music you will need to use your car speakers instead. Here is the AV in that's for hooking up your camera, reverse camera. This is the USB port for adding your mp3 songs, pictures or videos to watch. And this is the SD card, it does exactly the same thing but it's an extra option there as you can see already you've got a TF card in there. And this is the power cable. Just so you're aware the unit doesn't run on batteries so you need the cable plugged in at all time while you're using it. Alright so you can see the screen is nice and beautiful. Let me demonstrate the quality of the screen by playing some videos. So. As you can see it just plays straight away, it's quite fast responding, although it's reading from an SD card. The video played very well and I was happy with the graphics. Right, as you can see here, so we've got the home button, we've got the volume down and volume up, these are touch sensitive and they are very responsive, as you can see. Here at the top you can control your brightness, so from daylight to night mode and it dims the screen. You can also control that and fine tune it in the settings which I will show you later. The volume icon is just to check what volume level you've got it on and this is the return button. Right at the top in the middle and here in this corner you can see the time and the date which you can set in the settings menu. Alright, let's have a look at what I've got on the home screen from left to right. So we've got CarPlay for iPhones. And we've got the Android Auto. Got AirPlay for Android. AutoLink, which mirrors your phone to the screen. Got Bluetooth Music, so that's for playing music from your phone. So to pair the one car stereo to the phone, you just have to search for it. And then once found, you just keep hearing. Okay, now it's paired. So it tells you here to continue select Android Auto on your car stereo. So as you can see, my phone is connected there. So my phone is now paired so I can connect to Bluetooth music. So this is the music that is on my phone. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. So as you can see, this is the song that I've got my phone, and I can control it from here. What I had to do just to be me. Obviously, what I would recommend is uh, plug in the one car stereo to your. Uh, car speakers for better experience. Right, so let's go to phone and you'll be able to see your call history and then you can obviously ring directly from here so let's give it a test, let's ring the missus. The person you're calling yeah. is on another line. Just leave your 
you a message after the tone. And when you're done, press hash or just... Right, let's go to the settings, system, so here you can change the wallpaper, also a language, let's have a look at a list of languages, there's quite a few in here, date and time, update, system version and other information smartphone so this is these are settings for the apps that you've got on here so because I'm using Android I've just set it to Android Auto if you have an Apple device you've got the choice and for wireless you also have the choice here Wi-Fi Bluetooth display this is where you can change the settings for daylight and a uh, night mode CBT out sound effects equalizer loudness reverse settings for your camera and factory reset Wallpaper here just lets you select through a few uh, wallpapers directly from there. FM transmit is basically for receiving music from your FM transmitter connected to your MP3 player or phone. Alright, so because my phone is connected by Bluetooth to the OneCast area, I'm gonna uh, connect it to Autolink, so I'm gonna run that. Of course, make sure that you have uh, one app installed on your phone the app that i found is autolink pro i'm sure there are a few others that allow you the same thing but as you can see you can obviously uh, run anything on your phone and you will just do the same on your stereo so you can see this is my phone you can also run your maps from here copy what's on the phone straight to the car stereo and as you can see it's very responsive it's just wirelessly mimicking what's on my phone. All right, there is one other app you can use directly. So it's the Android Auto. For that, I'll have to stop uh, Auto Link. And also, I will have to change the settings for Auto Link. So, as you can see here, it's set to Auto Link, but I'll have to change it to Android Auto there. Okay, go back. And now let's try that. If you are sick, you're lost. All right, so the Maps app on the OneCast stereo is currently running. It is not mirroring the, the phone. The only thing that is showing here is that it says Android auto connected to your car from here of course you can just search for a place to go head southwest on college road a13 and you've got your sat nav running you can also go to a youtube music or you can play your local music or you can listen to news check notifications and use google assistant that will bring you back home to the main app where you can access games, messenger, radio FM and few other apps from your own phone and you can also exit from here so let's get to the multimedia so uh, this is from my SD card as you can see you can run music You can run videos. Alright guys, so I think I covered as much as I could in this video about the OneCast stereo. If you've got any other questions, please post them down below. Thank you very much for watching this video from the beginning to the end. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.